get attention. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friend. I remember when Rock was young. Appearing on Stars in Their Eyes tonight, from Nottingham, Lee Wolfe. Andrea Britton from Kent. From East Yorkshire, Andrew McNally. Donna Walker from Surrey. And Keisha Fagan from Croydon. Now, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to Stars in the Eyes. It's great to be back. Another year, another fabulous series, 60 more classic songs, 60 more fantastic star guests, being 60 more superstars, who between them have sold 180 million albums, shifted 195 million singles, and spent 765 weeks at number one. They've won five Oscars, 25 Ivan Novellos, 43 Emmys, 157 Grammys, had 63 spouses and 87 children, got 82 swimming pools, 314 cars, 446 bedrooms, 153 toilets, 35 dogs, 27 cats, 16 hamsters, 23 horses, and a chimp called Bubbles. They They've been seen live by one and a half billion people, and in total, they've been on TV three years, two months, and seven and three quarter days, non stop. And you thought that Carol Vorderman was on telly a lot. <laughs> no, no, we've got to get down to business. Before we meet our very first star guest, thank you for making us the most popular entertainment show of the year. Although it's our star guests who must really take the credit for that, and if you want to make an impression on this show, you have to know your material inside out, just like star guest number one. My name's Lee Wolfe, I'm 21 years old. Um, I live in St Anne's in Nottinghamshire and I'm the car park attendant. One of my dreams has always been to be a fashion designer. So I went to college, did a fashion course, passed it. When I used to go to college, they used to call me the walking catalogue because every week I'd come in a different jacket. Without revealing the person I'm going to be, people used to say that I look like him. I thought, yeah, let me see if I can sound like him as well. My mum was over the moon when she first found out I was going to be on Stars in Their Eyes. She was ecstatic. She was just like, oh, my baby's going to be on TV, he's going to be famous. And Smart Clubber is a big clue as to who he's going to be. Please welcome Lee Wolf. <laughs> look, look, look. Is he, ta is he taller than me? Is he and look at this shirt. Is this the one that you were making on the film? Yeah, it's the same one, yeah. This is a finished product. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Fantastic. Now, uh, you, you work in a, a car park of where? I work in a car park at a local bingo hall. Oh, yes, and, and what does the job entail exactly? Well, mainly, I have to sit down in my office, <laughs> I watch the cars, <laughs> and then... <laughs> Once the car park's full, I, like, walk round to the gate and close the gate. Close the gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I walk round and sit in my hut and oh. watch the cars. All oh, right. <laughs> so you don't have a barrier that goes up and down like no, that? No, I wanted one, but they said, no, no. Oh, the that'd gate. be too boring, wouldn't yeah. it, really? <laughs> I actually think you do look like the person that you're going to be, and you have something else in common as well. Tell me a yeah. bit about him. Um, well, he's six foot three. He's an American rap star. He's a TV star. He's a movie star. Mm -hmm. And tonight, I'm going to be singing the main song from his hit movie. Tell us what the movie's called. Men in Black. I think you know... <laughs> Tell us who you're going to be, Lee. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Will Smith. Will Smith! Get up, get down, get funky! Cos tonight, singing live, Lee Wolf is Will Smith! The good guys dressed in black, remember that Just in case we ever face the face from the contact We try to help our me, am I free? Cause what you did before you did not see So don't blame me, what we did now gone Black suit with the black ring band on Walk in shadow, move in silence Guard against extraterrestrial violence Yo, we ain't on no government list We straight don't exist, no names and no fingerprints All seem strange watching back Cause you never quite know where the MRBs is at Uh, 
Tall now you've had your hair cut down. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that is the coolest number we've ever had on this show. Thank you, thank you. And you're such a cool bloke. I try. I try. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Lee Wolf as Will Smith. <laughs> All right, let's go to Greenwich, where our next star guest gets plastered in bars in the nicest possible way. My name's Andrea Britton, I'm 25 years old, and I come from Bexley Heath in Kent. I live with Pascal and our son, Reeve, who's a year old, in Bexley Heath. I met Pascal just over four years ago in a bar. Pascal has undertaken quite a big task and is going to be opening up a bar, restaurant and gallery in Greenwich. It's due to open in a couple of months' time. My reaction when I got the call I didn't scream and shout, and it wasn't until I sort of phoned around everybody that I sort of started to get very excited, sort of phoning up, screaming down the phone to my mum and saying, I'm going to be on it. Well, she's never really gone away, and to show us why, here's Andrea Britton. You look fantastic. Thank you. Look great. Now, I want you to tell me a story that you told me earlier, because something terrible happened when it Reeve did. was five months old. It did, yeah. Tell me what happened. I fell over and broke both my arms. Both and what arms. happened when they put the plaster on? That. That, <laughs> right. So, could you do anything? Nothing, actually. Hmm? Absolutely nothing. Well, you had to be fed? Bathed. Bathed, everything? Everything. And what about the baby? I couldn't hold him. I can't bear this. I, just, I think it's the, the saddest thing I've ever heard. Now, you've met the person that you're going to be tonight. I have, you? Yes. And where did you meet her? At her after show party at the Royal Albert Hall when she was touring with Jules Holland. Yes, and she does a lot of touring with Jules Holland, so yeah. that's a very big clue there. And how did you behave when you met her? I was a bit flabbergasted, a bit starstruck, but she, was, she handled it very well. Oh, that, that's, yeah. I think that's very nice. What style of singer is she? She sings a bit of everything. Jazz, blues, soul, rock. Mm -hmm. And she has a claim to fame, doesn't she? She has a famous father. Tell us who you're going to be, Andrea. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Sam Brown. Sam Brown! <laughs> Joe Brown's little girl with the big soul voice tonight, singing live. Andrea Britton is Sam Brown! Thank you. 
And what a sensational voice as well. I really hope that Sam Brown herself was watching that and then she will know what a sensational voice she has as well. <laughs> Your knockout. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea Britton now, Sam Brown! <laughs> now, I know a man who knows more about what's on telly than anyone else and he's star guest number three. My name's Andrew McNally. I'm 26 years old and I come from Beverley in East Yorkshire. I work as a writer for the Press Association in Howden. Morning. Hi, Andy. Hiya. My Hi, job sir. involves writing TV listings for a large percentage of the national and the regional newspapers. The best thing about being on the show for me is just to show how well I can sing and to show people who I've met through my life that I'm, I'm doing OK. If I could dedicate my performance tonight to anybody in the world, I think I'd dedicate it to my mum, because uh, she's a bit of a star herself. She's always looked out for me, so I'd like to dedicate it to her. I bet he's given us a good write-up tonight. Please welcome Andy McNally. <laughs> what kind of work have you done in the past? You've had an illustrious career, I know. I have. My first job was actually working for um, a supermarket, and the management thought it'd be really cool if they gave us all different titles. Yeah, what was yours? Mine was assistant crisps manager. <laughs> Something to put on your CV. You only managed to get to assistant. Assistant, Chris. There's only two of us anyway, so there had to be assistant. <laughs> as well. Now I know you've got an MA in what? In music technology. And what's that involve? It involves studio techniques, acoustics, composition, things like that. Yeah. Um, and when I did a composition for one of the lecturers, yeah, he said I sound a lot like a certain person, and that's why I sent a tape into the show. Oh, I see. Well, tell us a bit more about this person, because techno is uh, is something of a clue. It's a clue word, yeah. He, uh, he used to work for Smash Hits magazine in the early 80s, mm -hmm. and he met his musical collaborator in a hi-fi shop in London's King's Road. OK, and then they formed a group together. That's and tell right. us a bit about the song. The song was originally recorded in 1972 by Elvis Presley, and then later done by Willie Nelson. But the version I'm doing was a Christmas number one in 1987. Well, you better tell us who you're going to be, Andy. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Neil Tennant out with the Pet Shop Boys. Neil Tennant! <laughs> Elvis goes techno, because tonight... Singing live, Andy McNally is Neil Tennant! I'm so sorry. 
I thought I'd seen everything on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Cherubs with harps on roller skates. Mm. <laughs> and singers with angels' wings. <laughs> it was Magic. sensational. Nice. And, and I'm, your voice is staggering. Of all the voices I expected to hear out of you, it wasn't that one. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so accurate. And it's just, it was, it was blind. And I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andy McNally as Neil Tennant. Well, I've heard of Tenant Super, but that was Tenant Fantastic! And there's more after the break, so if you think you're popping out for some nibbles, you've got ooh, two minutes, just time for some medium rare toast. Now, let your stomach rumble, because I don't want you to miss a new country babe, plus one of Britain's most stylish pop stars. Who are they? Well, you'll have to wait. I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in the Rise. We've already got jiggy with Will Smith, stopped and listened to Sam Brown, and had Neil Tennant on our minds. So what could we possibly do next? Simple. Bring on two more stunning star guests. And if you've ever tried to get on Stars in the Rise and not made it through, just follow the example of star guest number four. She knows how to get what she wants. My name is Donna Walker. I'm from Asheville in Surrey, and I'm 44 years old. As a family, we like to do pretty simple things. We like going to car boots. I myself like the antique centers. I was actually born in Long Island, which is in New York, and I moved to Florida when I was in my early 20s. I was there for 10 years, and I met my husband in St. Pete Beach. It was all quick romance, and we got married, and he wanted to live in England, so I was prepared to move here. My mom and dad are absolutely thrilled about me being on Stars in Their Eyes and they would love to fly over from America to see me, and I'm just really hoping that they can come, because it would make them so proud. She's been halfway around the world, but she's finally landed in Manchester. Here's Donna Walker! <laughs> Look at these boots. See these boots here? Now, you're wearing this for a very specific reason, these boots. Tell well, I consider them quite lucky, because I wore mm -hmm. them to my audition for Stars in Their Eyes, and... Here I am, Matthew. And who knows what they'll do for you tonight? Well, maybe. And fingers were, crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Yes. And you said on your film that you were hoping that your mum and dad would come over from Florida. I did, yes. And they did, didn't they? And they, they? did, yes, and they're they, Give them a warm welcome from Florida, Donna's mum and dad. <laughs> you did win a singing competition once, didn't you? I did. And uh, when was this? Oh, probably about ten years ago. Yeah, what did you win? Ten hours of studio time, which yeah. I never used. Yeah. When ten hours of limo time in a limousine, yeah. which I used right away, because <laughs> I pretended to be a star for a night. Got all my friends. We piled in. We hit the nightclubs <laughs> and, and made a night of it. Just wandered about in a limo. Yes. You think you've got the right idea? It was wonderful. The boots are a little bit of a clue about the person you're going to be. Yes, they are. Give um, us something else on her. Well. She's part of a duo. She sang with her mother, mm -hmm. and they were an absolute legend in the 1980s. Yes. She then went solo, and yeah. her first solo album, 
She had um, three number one country and western hits. So tell us who you're going to be tonight, Donna. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Wynonna Judd. Wynonna Judd! From New York to Nashville by Surrey. Tonight, singing live, Donna Walker is Wynonna Judd! Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely I fabulous. I think you did as well. <laughs> and look at your mom. She's so proud. <laughs> Best thing is, you know what she's going to do? She's going to get a table that she'll take it back to Florida. And then we'll both be big in Florida. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Donna Walker as Wynonna Judd. <laughs> Well, if you've got a bit of a mystic meg about you and you're trying to predict the winner, then in a bit previous, try and predict the identity of star guest number five first. My name is Keisha Fagan. I'm 24 years old. I live in Croydon and Surrey, okay, John, and I'm a senior care assistant. I'm responsible for 23 residents, writing reports, handing out the medicines and generally looking after them. I think the residents like me because I'm quite wacky, so we all get on really well. My colleagues are just like family, and they were really excited about me appearing on Stars in Their Eyes. When I got the call to say I was on the show, I thought it was a hoax. When I realised it was true, I leapt off the sofa and frightened the dog. I've always liked the music of the person going to be tonight because she's so stylish. I'm really looking forward to being on Stars in Her Eyes and holding my own personal concert for three minutes. She needs a relaxing break, but she's come here instead. Please welcome Keisha Fagan. <laughs> Thank you. 
You've got a terrific uh, musical background, haven't you? Well, yes, actually. Currently, there are three generations of musicians in my family. Really? From my grandfather, father's uncles and aunts, and myself, brothers and sisters, and also like writing music as well. So. You write your own songs, too? Yeah, I do. Do you sing the songs that you write? Um, only in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've had a bit of an insight into your future, haven't you? Yeah, I was in a department store with a friend. Um, we were inside a lift on the third floor. We went down to the second floor, and this lady came in and said to me, you're a singer, aren't you? And so we were quite shocked. And they said to me that I was going to be famous um, and that I'd been through some problems recently. Things were going to get better the following year. And so far, everything's been true apart from the fame bit. So. It's going to happen tonight, Keisha. I hope so. I'm telling you, I can guarantee it. Tell me a little bit about the person that you're going to be. OK, she's the lead singer of a Manchester band. Mm -hmm. um, the song I'm singing tonight was featured heavily and was famous for being in a car advert. Yeah, and I think you really want to be this person, don't you? Tell me why. I do, because her voice is as big as her hair. That may have given it away. Tell us who you're going to be, Keisha. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Heather Small of M People. Heather Small of M People! Big star, big voice! Tonight, see live, Keisha Bacon is Heather Small! Big hair, <laughs> big earrings, big. Look at your nails. Big, let's see, big nails, big vo massive voice. Thank you. Fantastic. Can I tell? I just wanted to tell you something. Just before the show, I said to Keisha, I said, "You look as if you haven't got a nerve in your body." She said, "You want to take an X-ray of my insides? They're dropping to bits right now." How are you feeling now? I'm feeling okay. You are. Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Keisha Fagan has Heather Small. Well, 
It's time for our studio audience to decide which of our star guests goes through to the live grand final. But before they cast their vote, let's refresh our memories. First up tonight was suited and booted oh, Lee Wolf as Will Smith. Come on, here come the MRB. Oh, it's the MRB. Come on, here come the MRB. Then Andrea Britton made a stop and listen as Sam Brown. Before you go and break my heart. Next, writer Andrew McNally as Neil Tennant. You are always on my mind. Then there was housewife Donna Walker as Winona Judd. Mama, he's crazy. He's crazy over me. Finally, Keisha Fagan was searching for a hero as Heather Small. Seen the performances, you've made up your minds. Studio audience, cast your votes now. And while they vote, we can go backstage to see what our star guests made of the show. I rate the stars in the ride experience and now that I've done it, I'll give it 100 out of 10. Um, brilliant to work with such a professional team of people. And everyone's looked after us. <laughs> it's been fun. When I walked through the doors tonight, I felt really elated. I felt like I was floating on air. And everyone starts clapping, and I just feel like it's the best feeling in the world. The whole 48 hours has gone very, very fast, and I'm really sorry it's over, because it was wonderful. I felt amazing. It was lovely. That really was my three minutes, my three minute concert. The moment of truth. Only one star guest can go through to our live grand final. Will it be Will Smith, Sam Brown, Neil Tennant, Wynonna Judd, Oh, Heather Small. And the winner is Will Smith! <laughs> oh, oh, come here. I'm so thrilled. I'm thrilled. Can't believe it. What was it like backstage? What did you think of the competition, though, tonight? It was, it was tough. Everyone was good. Everyone was good. I wouldn't have minded who won. If it was any of them, I'd have been just as happy. Oh, dear. You are such a nice bloke. No, but everyone else was so nice as well. You know, you're such a great bloke. You're still too tall. I'm not <laughs> too tall. <laughs> Lee has booked himself a place in our live grand final and we're going to enjoy once again the performance that earned him that place. Next week we'll have five more fantastic star guests, so do join us then. But in the meantime, here's the show-stopping Lee Wolf as Will Smith. Good night. <laughs> Just in case we ever face the face to make contact The side of hell by me, MRB It's what you think you saw, you cannot see So don't think me what we did Now go on black suit with the black ring man's on Walk in shadow, move in silence Guard against extraterrestrial violence Yo, we ain't on no government list We straight don't exist, no names and no fingerprints All seems strings watching back Cause you never quite know where the MRBs is at Uh, eh the deepest to the dark tonight on the horizon bright light hit the sight tight camera zoom one in your bends and zoom like if you'd like to appear on stars and their eyes please call 0870 400 4000 and our famous doors could open for you turn the fantasy ain't no way my bees can i believe do what we say that's the way we kick it you know what i mean see my noise cricket get wicked on you when you first last and only line of defense against the world come of the universe so don't fear us cheer us if you ever get near us don't cheer us we feel us and my bees up all the black men in black uh, 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 uh.
Radeon Sunfresh Tablets.